Go today. Rachel Morin was murdered in Hartford County. The mother of five went for a walk on the Ma and Pa Trail, but never made it home. Tonight, her family seeks out new tips to identify the killer. And last night at 11, we told you her family is using a criminal profiler to develop potential traits of the suspect. That information was printed on flyers and passed out around town earlier tonight. WJC's Christina Mendez was at the trailhead as volunteers worked to get the word out. There is a sense of urgency at the one month mark of Rachel Morin's murder to identify the suspected killer. Family describes the concern that as more time ticks on, people's memories may fade, which is why volunteers are out in the community canvassing both businesses and neighbors trying to generate any potential leads. That one lead could save someone's life. Loved ones of Rachel Morin are on a mission identify the 37 year old's killer, bringing justice to her case. Her older brother Michael says it's also about preventing another family from feeling the same hurt. It's all it takes is for someone to do the right thing and speak up. On the one month mark of her murder, there is a boots on the ground effort. Volunteers are canvassing areas near the Ma and Pa Trail in Bel Air where Rachel's body was found, handing out new flyers with information from a criminal profiler on potential suspect traits, aiming to dig up tips. I decided to come out because she's somebody's daughter. And it could have very well been mine. Detectives with the Hartford County Sheriff's Office made a break in the case last month after DNA from the scene matched physical evidence found at a home invasion and assault earlier this year in Los Angeles. But the suspect's identity remains unknown. However, doorbell camera footage captures the moment the suspect leaves the crime scene in California, giving a glimpse of what he looks like. The picture, the traits, and them being missing for that time. We feel that might be able to paint a better picture for whoever knows that person. Matthew McMahon, the father of Rachel's oldest child, says while memories may fade from that fateful day, circulating the behavioral profile may push someone with information to come forward. It's better to take that step and the police clear this person and say that it's not this person than to remain silent and let this happen to somebody else. There is a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. If you have information to provide investigators, there is a dedicated email, rmtips at harfordsheriff.org. I'm reporting from Bel Air tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. Christina, thank you.